Local 4 News begins right now with a breaking news alert. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Karen Drew. First at four, we've got some breaking news as Michigan State University struggles to put the Larry Nassar abuse scandal in the past. Today, it's interim president John Engler on the hot seat. He was called to Capitol Hill to testify about how MSU will protect athletes in the future. Nick Monticelli monitoring the hearing in the U.S. Senate from our newsroom with the very latest. Nick. Karen, good afternoon. So what we're looking at right now is the actual testimony, the actual hearing happening as we speak. This is the CEO of the United States Olympic Committee. Also next to her is the United States Gymnastics Organization, and John Engler is on her right. Now, Senator Blumenthal is the ranking member of this committee asking all these questions, trying to dig in to find out exactly what went wrong and how can they prevent this from happening in the past. In his opening statements, he made it very clear that many people have failed. These institutions have to answer to themselves, their own constituencies. They have to answer to history for their glaring failure. The system continues to be badly broken, and now we are at a turning point. Now, as you can see here, there are nearly 80 survivors of Larry Nasser in that hearing as well, all of them there to show the world that they are not going to stand for more things being swept underneath the rug. And actually, Engler made it a point to recognize them, saying that they acknowledge they have failed those survivors. We all failed the survivors. At MSU, my commitment is to make sure this never happens again. We are seeking to simultaneously deliver what justice and healing we can for the survivors and put strong accountability measures in place to ensure that MSU is safe. And that really is what this hearing is all about, trying to find those measures, whether it be at Michigan State University, the Olympic Committee, or USA Gymnastics, trying to make sure that the survivors that are inside of this hearing can remain safe when they are trying to represent our country or simply just trying to be a little girl enjoying gymnastics. Engler has only actually answered one question from this panel. There haven't been any bombshells yet, but we are watching this very carefully. Of course, we'll let you know exactly what happens coming up on Local 4 News at 5 and 6 o'clock. Karen?